Hey guys, uh, so let's just check this out. I wanted to show you this really cool thing that just came out on Sh uh, Shad CN. So if you go to Shad CN UI, I'll leave it in the description below. Let me just close this. Okay. So obviously this is a UI library for, you know, developing, you know, web applications, right? You can use this UI library to include it in your web applications to make it look aesthetically pleasing. And to be honest, I would say that Shadsian UI is one of the most interesting and cool uh, UI libraries <clears throat> in 2024 that I've seen. I mean, just look at this basic application here on my screen. So you got a mail application. Just look at how the UI is. Like, look at the layout, look at the design. You know, they include stuff like this, you know, on shrink and... Like, honestly, this is probably one of the best UI libraries I've seen. And I like the input. I like the, you know, the functionality that goes with it. You've got the dashboard. You've got the card components. This is really cool. They even provide you input dialogues and stuff like that and drop-down menus. It's really nice. It's really cool. So you can have a look at these pages and, you know, you can take a look at it for yourself. But essentially... I want to show you the component section because there's a new one that came out. It's called breadcrumb, right? This is the breadcrumb code. And obviously, if we go through, you can see we import the UI library. And then we use breadcrumb and we have a link to it. And essentially, the reason why this looks interesting, because when you have this in an application, it makes it look more uh, pleasing to look at. So if you have this like on a dashboard or something or a header component, you could see that this would be definitely something... That you might want to consider if it's like a settings page or something and it, you, you tell the user what page they're on that that's what it is come down here uh same thing got just a slash which looks honestly it looks a lot better uh, i do like this one though i just like how the arrow is you know but it, the slash represents like what page you're on and if we also come down uh, here this is the same thing the same concept you can see it's by default so this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is one of the components. Here's a new one uh, for your authentication code. Now that's really cool. You know those authentication codes you get? You're like, okay, yeah, enter the code, cool. Um, same thing, right? And if you obviously you can add, it's just numbers, right? So, so that's it. <clears throat> excuse me. And the code for it is here. Now we can see that it's, actually quite interesting we, we've got a bit of a keyframe we've come down here to the usage so you obviously import it now here it is this is the component this is interesting you render it as slots you, the maximum length is obviously six digits allowed and um <clears throat> slots dot slice and basically what you're doing yeah, so this is obviously a method you're mapping through and you're displaying the key index, right? And you're basically returning the, the slots of how many slots there are, right? Which the maximum length is six. Let me come down here. It's the same thing uh, for the for both sides. So you this side and then this side, right? And if we come down here, you've got just by default plain, like there's no, it's just plain. Right, you can see that here. Or if you were to enter code that was not numbers right that would be there you could do it like that or you could do it like that one time password key code you know one two seven four two one something you know what i mean uh <clears throat> so that's that that's the newest one i don't think there's any other one yeah there's, there's no other one but like i said you know this ui library is one of the interesting ui libraries which i like i mean look at this type of stuff menu bar it comes with this, so you can just drag it in, you get this code, you put it into a component, and then you use that component, right, on any um, application, right? Honestly, it's it saves you a lot of time. You know, people say, oh, why do I have to have a UI library? Well, the thing is, you don't have to. It's just nice to have, because number one, you save time. You save time and energy writing out the code manually, right? And, you know, you can get a, like a very large project a little bit, you know, faster done, right, using these components. So that's the coolest thing about using component libraries is that you can save time from actually writing out the components yourself. 
and you can focus on something which is a lot more important than the UI, right? More of the functionality is more important. So you can use these UI components to get you to that point in time where it's like, okay, yeah, I need to work on the, <coughs> excuse me, I need to work on the, the functionality. I need to work on the functionality more than the UI design. So let me just use these UI components so that I can get my job done faster on the front end where I can actually focus on the back end and, you know, the functionality of appending things to the page and stuff like that. So that's that's a benefit of using UI libraries. And the only UI library I recommend is this UI library, nothing else. I don't like any other UI library. Uh, that's just a, that now that is a personal opinion. I've just seen a lot of, I've experienced and used a lot of other UI libraries, but it hasn't come close to this. And, you know, like with the animations and, you know, the keyframes that it includes in the, I mean, come on, like, look at this. This just looks aesthetically pleasing to look at and add to your code, right? And there's a lot of, I mean, you get a lot of hate, obviously, you know, obviously there's a quote, it's like people either love you for what you do or hate you for it, right? So, you know, this UI library has obviously saved me a lot of time to get what I want done faster. And, you know, like, I mean, like, just stuff like this. It's just aesthetically pleasing. I don't have to use, or, I mean, I can customize the CSS, right, with Tailwind or, you know, just regular CSS. It just saves me a lot of time, right, so I don't actually have to worry about the front end too much, right, because the front end isn't important. What's important is actually, does the application work? Does it, does it have the functionality? Because you can have like the nicest front end, you know, development of a application. If it doesn't work, if there's no functionality to it, then the application is useless. It's absolutely useless and it's pointless to actually just use in the real world, right? So if you are developing something for, you know, personal stuff, uh, this could be the best library to use and if you're also developing something for like the real world like so for example if you if you have a startup right and it's a website it's a web application or it's an app uh, well I actually do they have a Shedsian UI uh, library version of for the react native uh, I'm not sure or if they do use it right uh, but as I was saying like this UI library for the web applications that you want to work on is honestly the best that I've ever seen, right? I mean, it saves you a lot of time. They even implement Formic and all these types of things which you don't have to worry about. My favorite bit is the dialogue, right? This is kind of cool, right? This little modal that pops up and it's like a dialogue. I just like the functionality that comes with it, the way that it just pops out of the application, you know? Another one is obviously the skeleton. It just looks cool, right? It just looks pleasing to look at, you know, the toasts, right? This is just amazing, right? I don't know why anyone would not choose this one over any other one, and you know, it's, you know, it's just, I mean, come on, the card, right? The card component. It's just like anyone, you know, people think, it's like, you know, when you work on a project, <laughs> and then people are like, oh, well, that's pointless what's the point of that it's like no it's not pointless this looks cool to my point of view like this looks kind of cool because you know it's just the way that it's just laid out and you know like the border and you know it just looks aesthetically pleasing so that's what i mean so if you if you're also building a real world application and you know you get users you obviously you know you want to have the front end look pleasing to look at so that the user is engaged and is always interacting on the platform, right? But obviously, so obviously first what you need to focus on is the functionality. And if you're a front-end developer, you know, try start, you know, just work on the back-end, right? You need to learn the back-end, you know, a bit. So I haven't really mastered back-end development. I've worked with back-end development, right? And obviously I, I like working with PostgreSQL, Right, because then it actually you you've got the data at your fingertips and you know, all that type of stuff, and it's easy to integrate, move around, migrate to things. Right, using Prisma, and I use Superbase, right, because it comes with PostgreSQL, and you know MongoDB is also another option. But then again, MongoDB has only 
it works with documents. But anyways, I'm actually getting off topic for this quick video. It wasn't even supposed to be this long. What I'm saying is if you're developing an application, you want to make sure that number one, it has good functionality. Number two, the front end UI is aesthetically pleasing to look at and obviously use. Obviously this looks nice. I didn't even see this, but well, is this the card component? Oh wow. Yeah. So they've updated a few things uh, for people to see. And honestly, like who, who doesn't want to take a look at this type of stuff? Like this looks amazing to, to have in an application, right? it's honestly it's honestly the best you know i might i might actually do a video if anyone recommends me uh, a project idea in the comments below i'll go ahead and i'll build it using react right with obviously next.js right with shad and ui or just any type of project if anyone recommends me a project below this video and i might consider it then i might just do it with shad and ui and you know working with react in the back end of postgres postgresql so i might just do a full stack application for a video who knows but yeah so this you know this content on this channel is for free obviously i don't have any courses yet i don't really plan on making courses right now i'll do that later but that has to show in depth um, information so i would have to do a video on that but like i said i recommend this use it fully use it for all your applications and that's it. All right, see you later, guys.